I've got a little tip for you uh, gents in the room. I can't speak for the ladies. If you are having a bath with a bath bomb, a lot of people fill the bath, throw the bath bomb in, and then get into the bath. I don't do that. I fill the bath, I get in the bath, and then bath bomb under the... <laughs> get a little bit more for your £4.50. What's your name? Mike. How old are you? Uh, 39. What do you do for a living? I do a bit of casual work, building and gardening. Good stuff, outdoor stuff. I do stand up at the weekends, but um, it's not really... Well, I earn a living from it, but I need to top up cos I live on my own. Oh. OK. We want to see what you're going to do, Mike. Thank you. I had a, a terrible breakup uh, a couple of years ago. Um, we were together for a good chunk of time, five and a half years. We were in a serious relationship. Serious because we never had fun together. It was a bit of a low point, actually. I remember it was Monday night. I'd been back at home with mum and dad for about two weeks, and I found myself typing into Google, is it normal for you to miss someone that you've broken up with? I did learn one thing from that Google search, and that's that I must be very feminine. Every single answer was aimed at women. Of course, you'll miss him. I'm going, it's her. Remember the reason you broke up with him? I'm going, it's her. So I just went to the shop and got a big bag of Maltesers, a bottle of rosé and had a bath bomb. <laughs> it's a cracking night. I love a bath bomb, me. It was actually my, uh, my ex-girlfriend that got me into them. She bought me a couple for our last Christmas together. I mean, it was a rubbish main present, I'll be honest with you, but... Um... <laughs> As I said, we're not, we're not together anymore, but she lives on. She lives on every time I go into Lush to buy myself a bath bomb. <laughs> I can't admit I'm buying bath bombs for myself. It's not a very manly, masculine item to buy, is it? So I, I wander in there like I don't know where I am. <laughs> My girlfriend sent me. She's after some bath grenades. <laughs> I don't know what they are. She, she doesn't like the glittery ones, I know that much. <laughs> Get stuck in her chest there. Oh, no, no, she just, she just don't like them. I love a bath. Generally, I don't always have a bath bomb there, £4.50 a throw, aren't they? <laughs> you know, for birthdays and boxing days, special occasions. But... And I've got a little tip for you, uh, gents in the room, I can't speak for the ladies, if you are having a bath with a bath bomb, a lot of people fill the bath, throw the bath bomb in, and then get into the bath. I don't do that. I fill the bath, I get in the bath, and then bath bomb under the... Get a little bit more for your four pound fifty. So that's me. That's me. Thank you. You've got a very, very unique comic voice. Brilliant material. I've never heard anything like that before, so I thought it was fantastic. Cheers. Your whole style. It was really cool, really interesting, really laid back, and the, the act just got funnier and funnier as it went along. So, well done. Thank Great. you. Cheers. Cheers. I think this is you, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, do you ever jump up and down? No. Not very often. <laughs> it was like being at an Oasis concert, and the music's run out, and Liam decides to tell a few jokes. <laughs> They're really funny. <laughs> Cheers. And I, I'm with you with the bath bombs. I absolutely get it. He loves the bath. Oh, bomb. right. You he never, does. you always wait till you're in the bath, trust me, <laughs> before you drop it. Um, that's what it's all about. So I thought this wasn't going great, but actually you completely turned it around, Mike, and you're one of my favourite comics we've had on the show so far. Oh, cheers. <laughs> it is time to vote, Simon. I'm going to say yes. Cheers. I'm going to say yes. I'm saying yes. Well, as the nation's favourite TV judge, four yeses, Mike. Well done. You gotta take it.